Hi, my name is Gisela Marti, and I am the creative director for Tammy Taylor Nails. February is coming up, and love is in the air. So today, we are going to be working on a design that you can use for that special occasion. Our guest artist, Gel Prisa. Gel Prisa is our gel polish, which is three in one. It's a base coat, it's a color, and it's a top coat at the same time. I'm gonna teach you the versatility of the how many uses of Gel Prisa. So let's get started. For this design, Be My Valentine, we will be working with the following tools. From the Gel Prisa color polishes, we need the Pinky Promise and the Simply Sheer. Now we have from the Dazzle Rock Falling In Love collection, this is love. From the Dazzle Rock Prisma, from the Jingle Bell collection, the Jingle Bell Rock Red. Our tools will be the dotting tool, the striper boulder, and our three-dimensional brush. We will be working with a competitive edge white as white, needing a small dab and dish. We will be needing the Miracle Manicure, and to finish and seal the design, the Top Gel Plus. To clean the design, the Clean It, and to mix the powders with an, our extra adhesion liquid. To nourish the nail, our Tammy Taylor Peach Scented Oil. Last but not least, our towelettes and wipe it. Okay, on this design, Be My Valentine, the first thing that we want to suggest is that if you're working on a natural nail, please apply the Miracle Manicure Base Coat because what is gonna happen is, since I'm gonna be working with two different zones, we want to be sure that both zones grab to something and that something would be your base coat Miracle Manicure. So I'm going to start, since I'm working with acrylic, I'm not going to apply the Miracle Manicure base coat. And I'm going to start with my first color. And my first color is Pinky Promise. Pinky Promise is going to go all the way on the top. And please be sure that the first coat is very thin. Remember always when you're working with a gel Prisa, the first coat need to be very clean. And as I'm applying on the sides, on the other side, I'm gonna go with my gel brush and I'm going to clean. I wanna give a very nice and sharp shape on the nail. With the use of your Clean It, be sure to emphasize the sides emphasize the sides and make a perfect shape see okay again over here clean and this is the great thing when you're working with a gel with a gel polish is just that before you cure it you can do anything you need to do and that's it now I'm going to cure for two minutes. All right, two minutes. Now what we are going to do is we're going to apply a second coat right where we did that pink. With a pinky promise, we go to that area and apply that second coat. It's going to be really pink. And that's exactly what makes this design look awesome the tones. Now, same thing. If you have any product that went off the way, just clean it and cure for two minutes. Okay, now we're going to do the application of the Dazzle Rock, which is um, part of the Falling in Love collection. This one, this Dazzle Rock, it is This is Love. Okay, first, we're going to apply the sheer gel polish on the area where we're going to put the dazzle rock. 
which is all over this area, be sure to cover completely. And get your scoop ready so you can put the dazzle rock in that area. I'm going to put mine. This is loft. And you're going to sprinkle the area of your nail. Be sure to cover the sides completely. Okay, before you cure, you're going to be sure that you clean or you push all the dust of rock out of the way. See? I want it tap so it can go out and back again. I want to be sure that I push all the dust of rock out of the way. See, this is the reason why we needed to clean the pinky promise because otherwise they would get stick to it. It would be much harder for you to clean. So here we go. Now we're going to cure for two minutes. Okay, so it's two minutes. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dust the excess of the dazzle rock, and I'm going to determine at this point if I want a second layer, and I always do want a second layer when I'm working, packing up my dazzle rock. So I'm gonna take my shear again, and I wanna be sure that I cover every area that I miss, every area that I miss. So when I apply the second coat of the dazzle rocks, Everything is completely covered. Don't forget to cap. Again, take your dazzle rocks and sprinkle over the nail, especially in those areas where you think that you didn't cover completely. Tap the nail just for the excess to fall. And then with the use of your gel brush, don't forget, just clean, or in this case, it's push, push the, the, the dazzle rocks to where it's supposed to go. All right, now cure for two minutes. Okay, two minutes. Now we are going to dust the excess of the dazzle rock. This is love. And then we are going to buff with our clean finish buffer to be sure that the surface is smooth. So we don't have little peaks on the nail. So in a very soft way, buff. Touch the nail whenever you feel that it is smooth. That's perfect. Right now, it is completely smooth. So what we are going to do, we are going to seal the whole thing with our sheer gel polish. Now we're going to do it on the whole nail. And then we're going to cure for two minutes. Do not apply a thick coat. This is a very thin coat just to seal every single one of the dazzle rocks. Look how gorgeous. This is love dazzle rock is. Don't forget to cap, very important, the size and capping. Now we're gonna cure for two minutes. Okay, two minutes is completely cured. So what I'm gonna do is with my wipe it, and they clean it, I'm gonna be sure that all the stickiness is completely out of the nail. It's very important because we're gonna be working with 3D. And when you work with 3D, you wanna be sure that there's no remainings of any kind of gel. Now, I have over here on my dap and dish, this extra adhesive liquid, and I'm gonna be using my three-dimensional brush. 
Very important, just like I have said before, to keep that point sharp. So when you dip and you take the excess of the liquid out, the point should always be very sharp. Let me show you over here. See how sharp it is? That's what is important. So we're gonna dip and we're gonna grab a small, very small size ball. Actually, we're gonna grab one, two, three, four because we're gonna do the eyes and we're gonna do the nose of our cat. So take the excess of the liquid out and grab on a small bowl. This is the size that we want and we wanna place it right in here. Be sure that when you wipe the excess of the liquid, do it in a twisting, twisting the end of the brush to keep it pointy. Now, once I do that, I go back and then I just pat just a tiny bit to be sure that the eyes of my cat is completely right on the place supposed to be. Go back, take the excess of the liquid out and grab another bowl that it is exactly the same size of the other one. Place it. Take the excess of the liquid out and let it flow. As it's flowing, go back and pad to be sure that it's exactly the same size of the other one. There we go. We have the two eyes of my cat. Now we're gonna do the nose. And the nose, we're gonna do a heart-shaped nose. Take completely all the excess of the liquid out and, and a small, tiny ball. And this one, if you notice, is a smaller than the other ones that I took before. And you're gonna place it right there. Go back and place a, take another one the same size and place it on the other, on the other side. With the point of your brush, be sure Bring it down and go inside, creating the incision of the heart right there. Then with the back of the brush, just pat and pat to get the heart shape. See the great thing of working in top of the gel polish is that the color Whatever powder you're using, it's just gonna move exactly where you need it. And that's my heart right there. That's the nose of my cat. Now, the rest of the details that I'm gonna be doing on my cat is gonna be done with my striping colors. I'm gonna be using my boulder, which is the striper um, a long striper from Tammy Taylor. This is our new brush. Let me get the liquid out of the way. And I'm gonna take my black color and be sure that you load your brush completely. With the point of the brush, I'm gonna come from one corner all the way to the other. Oops, see, if it's not good, just take it out, erase it, go back again. Get your little block. And be sure that you have enough paint, but not too much. And go back and bring from one side of the cat to the other. This is just to mark and give the shape. So you know, this is the ears of the cat on the sides of the nail. And there we go. Now, we're gonna come over here and we're going to draw in a small line right here and make a smile with your cat. 
There we go. Second one, the other side. It's just like if you draw in an eel. There we go. Now, we need to do the eyes of the cat. And for that, we're going to be working with the dotting tool. We're going to take the big size of the dotting tool and we're going to bring over here and put a dot. Another one on the other eye. Now, my cat want to be my valentine because that's the, that's the, um, that's the name of the design, be my valentine. So I'm going to do a line across the eye to the side with the black, the same black, with the point of the brush sideways. The other one, the same way, sideways. See, it has that puppy love eyes of how much I love you. Now we're gonna do on this side of the, of the mouth of the cat, I want to emphasize with the white. Clean your brush, load it with your white paint. Be sure that you take all the excess completely out because all what you need is that point just to emphasize that little bit of the smile of the cat. See, this brush is amazing to do these tiny details. There we go. But I need also over here on the eyes of the cat, I want to emphasize it with the use of a metallic color. And what I'm gonna do is with my metallic paint, I'm going to just color that area just to make it look sassy. Now, here's going to be my valentine, so I'm going to put a three-dimensional heart in this area of my pink. So, back with my liquid, grab on a small amount of the red from the Jingle Bell collection the Jingle Bell Red, and put two small balls. One and two. So what is gonna happen is they're gonna be now spreading down. Want to be sure, that's my heart. And bring it down, pull it down, pull it. So you can see the heart right there. See, so all what you did was put in two small balls and then just wait till it start flowing and then pat and pat. And if you have to bring it up, bring it up, just be sure that your heart doesn't lose the shape. If you wanna bring it a little bit more down, you can also bring it a little bit more down by pulling the end of the heart. The great thing of using the extra adhesion liquid is that it has a medium set, so it gives you the opportunity for you to work with your three dimensionals. And there is my heart right there. So my little cat, which is going to be my Valentine, is done. My little details, or the rest of the details that I'm gonna put in this design are going to be some little dots around my heart and I'm gonna do that with the small size of my dotting tool in white. So I'm gonna put a small dot over here and then go around the heart, put in small little dots. You can do one side, you can do both sides. 
the other side. And remember, it's your design. You make it as you like it. And I'm going to put another dot over here, tiny small dot, just to go all the way around of my heart. There we go. This is my sweet cat, all dazzle, and he's going to be my Valentine. So now what I'm gonna do is wait till all the colors that I applied are dry, and then I'm going to protect my design with my Top Gel Plus. All right, the whole design is completely dry, so what we are gonna do is with our Top Gel Plus, we're going to protect the whole design. I'm going to start from the top. You can go on top of the heart. It's okay. The only thing that I'm not going to cover is the nose. I'm going to leave the nose flat so we can have that two-tone look or that three-dimensional look. But I want to be sure that I cover the top of the eye because I did some details with paint and I want to be sure that they don't, that I don't lose it. Be sure to cap, don't forget the size and capping. And once you finish, you're gonna cure for two minutes and the design will be done. All right, two minutes, half lapse is done. It's completely cured. So now what I'm gonna do is Remove all the excess of the stickiness out of the nail. And of course, give a hug and a kiss with the oil, the peach scented oil, to be sure that those cuticles fall in love. And here we are. We have our Be My Valentine Poppy Love Eyes Cat. I hope you like it. Let's recap, in, in our design for Valentine, which is Be My Valentine, what we did was we used the Dazzle Rock, This Is Love, and we also used our Gel Prisa, Pinky Promise. On the Pinky Promise, we did two coats of the Pinky Promise on the top. We cured for two minutes. Remember, two minutes if you're using UV, but if you're using LED lamp, you need to cure for one minute. Then we apply the Dazzle Rock, this is love, on the bottom, and we did two coats with the sheer gel polish. Once we did that, we buffed the surface of the Dazzle Rock to be sure that we have a very smooth surface. We top it up with our sheer again, and once we did that, we created the three-dimensional areas of our design. We did the eyes and we did the nose with the competitive edge white as white. The little heart, we did it with the Jingle Bell Collection Prisma Jingle Bell Red and then all the little details using our bold striper with the white paint. This is our design. It's fun and it's also easy. You don't have to be an artist to look like one. All what you have to do is open the doors of your imagination. I am sure that you have a design and you would like to share that design with us. And that design could be featured in one of our future videos. All what you have to do is take a picture write step-by-step -step directions and send it to creative director at tammytaylornails.com. Again, creative director at tammytaylornails.com and you can be the next talk of the town.